Israel is promising to send a delegation to the U.S. to discuss what comes next in Gaza as the war between Israel and Hamas becomes a bigger issue here on the campaign trail. With a humanitarian crisis in Gaza worsening and with Israeli hostages still being held by Hamas, President Biden spoke on the phone with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu yesterday. Thanks, everybody. White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan was asked why it has taken so long for the two to talk. Prime Minister, of course, knows how to reach President Biden. If the prime minister felt he needed the president for some reason, he would have picked up the phone and called. This is a war of uh, civilization against barbarism. Netanyahu says Hamas must be wiped out. But his frosty relationship with the president underscores a report from NBC News that behind the scenes, Biden has been angry over falling polling numbers due to his handling of the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas. Israel must make some significant course corrections. To add to the tension, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, the highest ranking Jewish U.S. official, has said Netanyahu should be replaced. The Democrats are very bad for Israel. Former President Trump has excoriated Democrats over Israel, but added in an interview yesterday, any Jewish person that votes for Democrats hates their religion. Now, the Biden campaign responded to that, saying that Trump is demeaning Jewish Americans. In Washington, Doug Lusader, Fox News.